Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, another video of mine. Um, recently somebody commented uh, asking about the salaries of a physio and generally what kind of lifestyle can you live on a newly graduated, newly qualified physio salary. So I thought I'd make an updated version of this as I have made a previous very similar video about how much money you can earn as a physio um, about a year ago. Um, but while I'll do this video, I'll give you like a realistic view of what you can expect to earn as a newly qualified physio. So coming out of university, depending on where you are in the country, you probably be you probably can probably expect to earn anything from 22 to 27 k uh, gross annual income uh, as a newly qualified uh, physio, depending on yeah if you're in London or if you're outside London. Generally, when you're in London, you get paid a little bit more because there is um, an increase of living expense when you're operating and living in London. The rents are higher, the cost of travel is higher, and the lifestyle is a little bit it takes a little bit more money. That's why the salary is a little bit higher. Um, and in terms of actually net take-home pay, how much are you taking home as a band five? Well, taking home about fifteen hundred to about two thousand pounds a month uh, depending on how many years of experience you have as a band five and when i say um the nh so what i mean by that is as when you're a band five you can continue to practice as a band five or you can try to progress up to the next level which is a band six um uh and then you know you can get paid at a higher salary um but if you were to go into a band six salary now uh the salary would probably be around um, 30 or 30, 30k to about 38, depending on how many years you practice as a band six. As a band seven, you can earn about 38 to about 45, so mid 40s or even high 40s sometimes in London. As a band eight, which is probably the pinnacle of what a physio can achieve in the NHS, from my understanding, um, it's a top level. Uh, band eights can earn anything from like 44 to 60k uh, gross annual income. To give you a, a rough uh, figure, that's probably about two and a half thousand pounds to three and a half thousand a month uh, take home net pay. Um, as I say, some people think that's not that much. Some people consider that as quite a lot, and you can have a very, you know, a decent lifestyle uh, even in in London, if you were to do that as a couple and you had you, you had a partner who was also earning that much, then it could be quite, you know, quite a decent lifestyle. Um, so, uh, yeah, as I say, band eight is probably the highest you can go in the NHS. Um, I don't know any physios who can get higher than that, but I know that in the NHS, they have like band eight A, band eight B, band eight C. So there's different like sections to being a band eight. Um, and in those sections, uh, you will have a, a specific salary dependent on what banding you're in. Um, now, of course, the salary you will earn as a private practice physio is going to depend on how many people you're seeing, your level of experience. Um, if you're self-employed or you have a business and you have, you're managing other therapists, how big is your business? How many clinics do you have? All these things. So... Uh, I, I don't I can't really give you a figure for how much private practice physios earn because um, it, it can be anything so there is scope to actually earn a lot more money and of course that that's if you have your own setup uh, like a business um, but yeah so generally the lifestyles of physio is quite okay it's quite average um, you are like respected as a profession in society, so you do get a lot of respect from people. Um, don't expect to be driving a Jaguar, <laughs> uh, you know, quite soon. It does take a few years to build your way up uh, the banding scale and the NHS. Um, you can do it quicker, as I say in my previous videos, but it depends on how good you are, how much work you put in. Um, and generally, what, what do you want to do, you know? Some people are happy with just living a, a, a normal lifestyle where they have enough money to pay their rent, mortgage, um, for food and travel, you know, just general out and about travel, going out on the weekends and things like that. So some people are happy with that. Um, others might not be, and, you know, they want to be a bit more ambitious and go for more money. And that's when you can start to think of doing other things like private work. But 
I hope this video was helpful and insightful into what you can earn. I've left a link to the NHS you know, pay scale, the, the uh, most recent one, 2020 to 2021, in the description below. So have a look at that. And it will give you a bit more information about how much you can earn depending on what band uh, of uh, healthcare practitioner you are in the NHS. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.